being used by our politicians here it's 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 easy to see which which parties support it and which don't mm -hmm. so the founder of ubi lab northern ireland which is a sub uh, section of ubi lab for the whole of uk is formed by an alliance councillor uh, by the name of patrick brown and um, so his his intention for getting it going was due to you know the failings of the system and the benefit systems with covid uh, and we've, um, we've definitely seen across um, Northern Ireland how COVID has exposed those cracks and how the system can't keep up large demand in such grueling times. And mm -hmm. he argues that with everybody getting a flat rate payment, um, people have been felt more secure during these uncertain times, knowing that they were getting a guaranteed X amount a month without having to jump through pages and pages of paperwork. And as somebody who helps uh, individuals get necessary benefits, including the likes of Universal Credit and PIPs. Um, it, they're difficult questions. It's a difficult process and it's very time consuming. And for the, the most vulnerable in our society that do need it, they might not have the education, experience or know-how on how to get the right benefits or to what they're entitled to. So I, th I think that that's where uh, Patrick Brown builds on his point of how UBI would be a good thing for for Northern Ireland. All right, that's interesting. So, so I assume that means the Alliance Party has general support of it. Yeah, they were the only party in. They were only only party last year for the Westminster election to have it in their manifesto that they wanted universal basic income throughout the whole of the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, since they're a Northern Ireland only party. You know that was probably their main focus first, but it was interesting how, in their eyes, they wanted it for the whole of the UK. Um, no mention of the South ever having it or its its ambition to have it, but I I thought that was an interesting point. Um, other parties that support it, the SDLP, um, they think it would be great. Um, good economic recovery following the pandemic. Uh, Colin Eastwood has came out in support of it and. Why we should look into it. Matt, do you want to guess which two parties aren't for UBI or have expressed concerns about it? So can I pick any party in the executive, no matter how small or how big? Yes. Yeah, okay, well then my, <laughs> my guesses I assume are PUB and DUP would be my, my two guesses who, who weren't Ooh. for it. Half of that is correct as far as I know. All right. T TUV haven't came out and said it. They can't, they just, they can't support it. They, they just can't, they can't see that happening. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt they would. You're probably correct, but they haven't came out and said. They might surprise us all. They might be. The DUP have expressed concerns. Um, yeah. It would need to be a national discussion, they said. Mm -hmm. um, and for them, they, they don't think it would help those most in need. Do you want to guess the other party? That uh, isn't for it, and I'll give you a hint. It's a nationalist party. I mean, I I don't want to sound stupid because they, they're suddenly, so we know that the SDLP like it. So, so therefore, Sinn Fein, do they have Correct. some kind of what? How does Sinn Fein not support UBI? What this I thought was the most surprising, a most interesting response to UBI and not wanting it in Northern Ireland. So Sinn Féin, MLA, um, Archibald, said, the problem with UBI is it's a one-size-fits-all approach and does not target those in need, which for a party that oh, is wow. rooted, rooted in leftist and almost to some extent in their imagery, Marxist ideology, yeah. this, this came as a big surprise. And also as a policy surprise. response, um, Connor Murphy, the finance minister, came out a few weeks ago in the idea of a voucher scheme where everybody in Northern Ireland receives 50 to 75 pounds to spend on the high street. Yeah. And that was for everybody. Some of the criticisms of that from other parties is that it wasn't targeting the needy. So maybe Sinn Féin haven't got a dedicated response to this in the North. Maybe it's 
members are still arguing about the pros and cons for it. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would be, I don't think it's fair to say yet to wash them over. Um, the only, wow. yeah, it's, it's mad, isn't it? Like, it's one you wouldn't expect. Yeah. Especially because of how, how Sinn Féin generally, I mean, if it's a popular left policy they adopt it, it is pretty much the way they go. If, if it's popular and if it's left, they're usually all for those policies. So I'm very surprised that they don't support UBI. That is, yeah, they, 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 might, they might, they might come back to it. Who knows? The only other mm -hmm. party that we haven't mentioned is forever the most nuanced party in the executive, the Ulster Unionists, yeah. and that they've said we would consider the merits of universal basic income if it is properly researched and costed. So they're taking the we haven't decided yet approach. Yeah, um, which. Not necessarily a bad one. They want to do the no. research and find out and come back to us, but they're they're still working on on a response to it. Yeah, I mean, let's let's be fair to some. I mean, I don't always feel the need to be fair to the EUP, but this time we'll we'll try and be fair. Uh, I, I mean, UBI is a very new idea, as we've said before. As we've only got a couple examples of it worldwide, being the first country to implement it properly, like in a very serious way would be, I mean, it would come with a lot of hazards and realistically it would come with a lot of difficulties that you can't foresee. Just that's how kind of policy making works whenever you're dealing with a new idea or a new kind of topic. Whenever, it impl whenever it's implemented, you're going to have things that you don't ever foresee because no one's able to tell the future. So I mean, it makes sense just saying, yeah, we'll, we'll, we, we want more research, more evidence, more, more concrete knowledge on this subject matter. I think that's fair.